What I think has been uh, one of the most gripping news stories, probably for, well, it's been 13 years, hasn't it? 14 years, I think it's been. It's the Maddie McCann case. And the latest thing here is that essentially the European Court of Human Rights have said that, well, this wasn't essentially illegal for this chap to insinuate that the McCanns were involved in Maddie's disappearance and one would therefore assume as well death. The McCanns vehemently deny this. Of course they do. But... It's interesting. In terms of the reputational damage that this could cause, I can understand the court's opinion when it comes to things like not, not really stacking it up when it comes to right for a family or a private life. That seems a bit squiffy because they literally went public with trying to get as much members of the public as possible to help with this investigation into her disappearance. But, I, I mean, from a reputational damage point of view, accusing somebody, essentially accusing somebody of killing their own daughter or covering it up is pretty bad. It is pretty bad, but the point was that this followed the allegations against them uh, for about a year when they were officially suspect. And this policeman who'd worked on the case uh, was investigating at that time. And really all he did was to put into a book form the allegations which were current at the time, but were withdrawn by the prosecutors in Portugal very shortly before his book was published. He, of course, uh, didn't uh, update the book. It was printed, obviously, long before uh, the uh, allegations against the McCanns were withdrawn by the police, uh, and uh, one of his uh, one of their concerns was that he failed to uh, put the matter right as far as they were concerned, uh, and, and they say that he damaged their reputation, as you've just reported, as Mark White explained. Uh, their claim was thrown out today by the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg. Yes, indeed. Now there are those people who will say the McCanns were not involved in the disappearance of Maddie. They were, their parenting left something to be, uh, to, to the imagination on that evening, you know, going and, and having the tapas and possibly a couple of glasses of wine, etc., and leaving three children alone in a, a flat. You know, bad parenting could be potentially their crime there, not, um, not actually anything to do with Maddie, I suppose. But there were tensions between the British and the Portuguese police. There were tensions between the McCanns and the Portuguese police. And there are a group of people who would say that this is the way that a Portuguese police officer can try to get back at the McCanns for highlighting the fact that, or playing into the idea of the kind of lazy tropes of foreign continental police all chain-smoking and not doing much work. I'm sure that's how the McCanns felt about it at the time that they brought this libel action in Portugal, which was successful to begin with, uh, but then overturned by Portugal's Supreme Court. They then decided to take matters further, and they argued that effectively they hadn't had a fair hearing by the courts in Portugal. They complained that the Supreme Court in Portugal had undermined their rights by uh, casting doubt on their innocence by implying in some way that they were involved in Maddie's disappearance. Uh, and that's what they wanted to challenge. And uh, what the court in Strasbourg has said today is that their claim uh, under the right to respect for uh, private and family life uh, doesn't succeed. It has to be balanced against uh, the police officer's right to freedom of expression, um, which often happens, uh, and the uh, Strasbourg court uh, didn't want to overturn what the Portuguese courts did. It said that a balance has to be struck. Uh, you don't want a chilling effect on freedom of expression. People are entitled to express their opinions and views, uh, just as people are entitled to respect for their privacy and their reputation, and they're not going to overturn it. As far as the Portuguese Supreme Court was concerned, the Strasbourg judge said, Judges said this one just didn't get off the ground. Uh, there was no suggestion in the decision of the Portuguese uh, Supreme Court uh, that the uh, judges had done anything wrong. There was absolutely no suggestion uh, that they had uh, uh, implied any guilt on the part of the couple or even suggested any suspicion of their involvement uh, in their daughter's is, disappearance. And this is the thing. It's interesting that you mentioned it's not got off the ground because the last time I remember sitting here and talking about the European Court of Human Rights, it was in relation to that Rwanda flight. So it's actually nice for me to finally agree with something that the European Court of Human Rights has actually done. But you are a legal commentator. And one thing that you will surely understand is it's not just, unfortunately, about the law when it comes to the law. There's a thing called optics as well, isn't there? And did the McCanns fall foul of that initially, do you think? They just didn't come across in the early days of this investigation, as particularly likeable. And I think that had a massive impact, certainly on the public perception of them. 
It may have had an impact on the public perception. It may have had an impact on the courts in Portugal, but I'm sure it did not have any impact on the judges in Strasbourg. For one thing, uh, this is not the sort of court that you have to go to and give evidence. They simply looked at the findings of the Portuguese courts and the uh, way in which the Portuguese legal system operated. Uh, as I say, they weighed up the rights of the family against uh, the rights of the police officer. Uh, they looked at the timing of it, the fact that uh, there'd already been a year when they were under a suspicion uh, before the uh, former policeman published his book. Uh, they certainly didn't look at uh, uh, whether uh, the McCanns did have any involvement. That was not something they could possibly look at, nor did they look at the optics. They simply looked at whether the Portuguese system upheld the rights of these two people who had the misfortune to be in Portugal uh, when their daughter went missing.